Hello, my dear friends. My name is Thomas Sattelberger. I am member of the German Parliament. And before that, I was 40 years in business, 15 years as member of the executive board of major companies. Uh, and since many years, I'm on the board, board of trustees of the World Business Dialogue. Talking about responsible leadership in difficult times means Number one, focus, focus, focus. Most important things first, everything else has to wait. As a manager in crisis times, you are a doctor in intensive care, not a general practitioner. Responsibility means not to please the wishes of every interest group. It is dispersing your energy. Just think how awfully long it took to get protective masks in Germany. Number two, forget, please, the fashionable concepts of participatory and democratic leadership. In crisis, there has to be clear that there is no vacuum of power. The responsible leader has to decide crystal clear when and where he or she is governing through. Number three, since there are no recipes left, leadership by reflexes, by established routines is over. No recipe, no reflexes, but reflection, like Henry Minsberg, the famous management thinker, said. Thinking through Quick debate with a few diverse voices is helping to avoid the confirmation bias, which means you don't hear just the views which confirm your own established opinion. Just think how much reflexes we have had about developing a tracing app in this country. And number four, Solutions in crisis times do not have to be perfect. They have to be good enough. Here the principle is not maximizing, but satisfying. Like sociologist Herbert A. Seaman once, Simon once famously said, there is always the call for the optimal solution, but common sense knows everything in crisis will be suboptimal. Number five, do you manage value creating or value creating and values based? When Adidas tried to misuse national policies for helping tenants to reduce its own rent, a huge shitstorm developed. CEO Kaspar Rostad had to apologize. In crisis times, corporate leaders will sometimes need to go into conflict with their own shareholder view or shareholder philosophy and their own shareholders. Companies are not isolated from society, but an integrated part. It's not only the shareholders, it's customers, employees, and environment and society. Let me make a general conclusion. The crisis will have tremendous economic consequences. Alone in this country, thousands of companies will stop to exist. Ten thousands of companies will need to restructure. There will also people lose their job. Careers will come to an end and many young credits will have a harder time to get a good job. Good leaders cannot always avoid to do tough things, but it's also their deep responsibility to do everything to avoid it. So it is really the ultima ratio. And if there is no way out, we do it fair and honest and transparent. I look forward to see you and hear you in better times, perhaps at a conference 
uh, of the global business dialogue. Take care, stay healthy.